This is the worst part of this. I'm trying to put it in this dag on tripod. Okay, I got it the way I want it. Alexis, is this getting the home? I'm in the seams. Yeah. You got it. It's fine, I got it. Remember, you gotta press this red button. It does turn, look. It just says it's not live. It is live. You're live. <clears throat> you can press this red thing and push it up more. No, it's not though. There we go. That's cool right there hey y'all doing the, uh behind the scenes i'm shooting a video real quick for youtube so i like to do these once a week it's called behind the lens um i'm pretty sure this is my third one i'm starting to save them i'm going to be uploading them to youtube so you can go back and check out what i did behind the lens um so my bad if i'm not looking at the lens or if i'm not responding to comments because you guys are on a tripod and I'll go back and respond to comments later. <clears throat> what would we leave off? Um, you talked about your first shirt. And... Yeah. My first shirt is yeah. where I ended it. Whew. It is cold and it ain't no truck. Yeah. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go right here with it. Okay. So three. I'm gonna show this and then you. Okay. Three, two, one. So out throughout my uh, t-shirt career so far, when I was trying to figure out exactly what it was that I was gonna be customizing and how to brand, I started to do like series. So the first series that I had done, I believe, was just uh, the grizzly bear itself. And I had put like different color eyes in the Grizzly Bear logo and different outlines to try to make it look a little bit better. The, fir the very first series, the name of it was uh, G Fit Relax, which it did okay. Um, there was a lot of trial and error. Uh, I didn't have a lot of plans and from night to night, I really just tried to make the best of it. But uh, this was from the Top Ramen series. And I believe this was series four or five if you have my facebook or if you're connected to my facebook you can go through and see when i dropped this originally it had to have been like february 2019 somewhere around that time but the glitter it upheld that glitter that i used was a rainbow glitter and that was caesar the white was a uh, the white caesar easy weed and yeah it, it upheld pretty well actually the shirt looks way worse or than the vinyl. <laughs> the shirt looked like it had been through war. So yeah, that was like my first, very first series that I dropped out and actually made profit from. Now, some of the series that I dropped, it was just pure instinct. I had an idea, I went to the computer, I jumped to the design, then I threw it on a shirt and didn't go nowhere. Pretty much was a waste of material. You have four minutes. Okay. Let's see. I think I have the Relax shirt at home. The Grizzly Fit Relax? This yeah. is the Grizzly Fit Relax, so let's put one and jump to next. I think I have the purple one. The red one with the black and purple. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think I have that. It's pretty slick. Yeah. That was a whole, this is a nightmare. This final when I get to that and talk about it. That is a I nightmare. I remember you seeing oh that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> All okay. right. Three, two, one. So this um, was the actual Relax uh, series. So there was a relax, there was a top ramen, there was legends, there was gangsters, um, the movies, which was classic movies like uh, Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, 
Um, and the seventh one was actually G Fit Kids, Grizzly Fit Kids. But here is a year ago to the day this was done, and this was in the relaxed series. This is also uh, Caesar Easy Weed, uh, the black onto the white. And the uh, mix pattern was something that I had got from either Amazon or Walmart. But it was an off brand. It wasn't a name brand. It was just something that I could get that was affordable for me at the time. It wasn't our key, but it was another one that has a lot of colors where you can get damn near 20 yards for $4. I'm testing there, hopefully. Oh my God. All right, jump to this one. I'll put all the shirts over here until we get to the last one. Three, two. This lighting is just horrible. It is? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the. Did you change the lights? No, maybe I need to stand back a little bit. No, you need to come closer. It's just not. It's just naturally like that. Three, two. One. So this is the G Fit Grit Kid series, the Grizzly series, and I called it the uh, Grizzly Cubs. I wanted to appeal to the children's side of the clothing industry as much as possible, being that one, I have a lot of children, and two, it's a lot easier to move in volume children's shirts than it is adults, at least for me in my experience in the business. So on this one particular shirt, there's a couple different vinyls. So this right here, this Vegas gold, that's for the Grizzly. And right here, that's Caesar. The white right here in Fit Kids and behind the actual Grizzly, that's also Caesar. The white lines, everything that's white and gold was Caesar. Now this dark gray right here was Arky. And that's a vinyl that you can get off of Amazon. Um, I don't have too many bad things to say about it. After a year's worth of washing and no cracks, it looks pretty good to me. So, hey, if you can get it for a deal and it, it turns out to be something that's reliable and lasts a year from now, you might want to stick with it. The Galaxy, however, that was a sample from another vinyl company. Now, I'm not too sure as to where it came from, but I know it was an off-brand on Amazon. So essentially, I went through several different types of vinyl to get to the vinyl that I like or that I use on a normal basis. And it was trial and error, like I said. A lot of times, you will wash clothes, or I will wash clothes, and pick up the garment, and the actual vinyl will be in the bottom of the washing machine. That's a no-no, especially if you're putting your name behind it. So you wanna go through the trial and error stage before you actually promote and stand up upon that product. I don't know what's wrong with this lighting. I don't know what it is, but it's horrible. Let me see. It looks like muffled, like there's something on top of my camera. I don't like it. I don't worry about it. I know, but like, look at that. Like, that's fine. Then it like blurred out your face for a minute. Well, it's still good with you. Let's roll with it. You're at seven minutes. Okay. So we'll talk about this shirt. I kind of don't want to talk about it, but I'm going to have to because it's had a generic brand of uh, vinyl on it. And I want to show what the pillion looks like after a year. I'm going to show the front and the back. Three, two, one. So as you just see, the back of the shirt is peeling pretty bad. Now the front of this Nike shirt, and by the way, I made the shirt for myself. It wasn't to be sold, it wasn't to make a profit off of. I just was simply excited to have a cutter and a press and the design software to do something. Um, the back of the shirt, however, I had used some of that cheap vinyl. And once again, I'm sorry for not remembering exactly the names 
I mean, you guys are going to have to do trial and error. This is a learning process. And if I find out the names as I go through my old vinyl, I will definitely update them in the comment section or in the description below. But a year ago, this looked really, really nice. And now it looks like some acetone may have hit it or some VLR because it's peeling off. And this is a, that's an example of some cheap vinyl. I might have got it because I was just low on money, to be honest with you. And it was something I needed for another job. So I had a bunch of it and I was able to make myself a shirt. But when I say the long haul and trial and error, this is what I mean. You have to make sure that the, the quality that you're selling to your customer is premium, especially if you want them to be return customers for family reunions, maybe funerals, for birthdays, things that happen every year. Nine minutes and 11 seconds. Okay. I'll show the back and the front. Three, two, one. So this shirt was actually inspired from my uh, the series that I was telling you about. And this was the seventh series out of all the series that I named. And it was anime. So I did a drawing of Dragon Ball Z. I did a drawing of Gino One Man Punch. I did uh, U and A. I'm not too sure on that. The younger generation would know what I'm talking about. But I have no idea. And I wanted to do a bunch of anime shirts because at the time it seemed to be very, very popular. And I was figuring out how can I make this work for me? Um, at the same time that I had made this series, I was watching some videos from Stan Banks. And one of the one things that kept drilling in my brain was niches bring riches. And I thought, anime, this is gonna be gold. This is my million dollars. I'm about to make it up out of here, y'all. That's how I really felt when I was doing these shirts are these series so to speak but it kind of didn't work out that way i am blessed because i am moving up and there is growth in my business but consistency is the key remember you're going to make mistakes that's what you do after you make those mistakes do you sit down crawl quit say you're done with it or do you continue to strive to be the best that you can be don't ever give up on your dreams make sure that you go with or you go for what you're you're trying to get ultimately make sure that it is something that you want to do for the rest of your life it might not feel like work if you are doing it you're definitely gonna have to add your own spin of transitions because it's kind of like the repeated same transitions that we use in this one okay because we keep going through all of them gotcha so you're definitely going to have to add okay, I got some. extra. Final one. The worst. Well, one before the... This is one. Now I'm going to show the updated vinyl that I use. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. I'm going to do a back shot. So this hoodie right here was at the end of last year and I wanted to stand out. I wanted to be different. I hadn't gotten to sublimation yet. This is right before the sublimation curve and me seeing several thousand, sort of like several million posts on sublimation. Um, this sweatshirt initially took me a week to make. Um, the reason it took a week is because I was still Ubering. I was still door dashing while trying to nurture this business and I would just come home every night and apply a different color to the sweatshirt to make it stand out. Now the pros and cons to this sweatshirt, one big con is this was a cheap sweatshirt. This wasn't a premium sweatshirt. So that alone was defeating in itself. Coupled by the fact that I used inexpensive vinyl to expensive vinyl all on one shirt or sweatshirt, I should say. Uh, the best thing I can tell you, especially when you're brand new to this market, is go whatever 
you can afford. Go with whatever you can afford. You may not be able to buy the most expensive, fanciest, diamond encrusted machine there is out there or vinyl, but at least get up and start. I heard that positive message also through Stan Banks and that got me up and off my and up start. <laughs> 12 minutes. Ooh. Okay, let me throw on this sweatshirt. I want to look for one bad spot. I just. I think it. this is the bad spot. Then. The cotton balls, yeah. It was that's the cheapness. That's the generic. Plus the way we was washing it, or you black. All right, so we're gonna go from this pink grizzly. I'm gonna talk about that because that's the. This is obviously the cheapest uh, vinyl that's on here. It's this this pink. I think this gold was the same place. But then Econo transfers is right here. This is when I first got the uh, camouflage. So I'm going to talk about them three. Then we're going to talk about the new shirt and wrap this video up. Okay. Three, two, one. So I told you guys there was some inexpensive vinyl, which this Grizzly right here, this was the cheapest stuff. Um, to be honest with you, it's got like a plastic feel to it. Uh, it did uphold on the actual sweatshirt for a year, so I ain't mad at that. But the actual fact that it's like thick, bulky, and it feels plastically, plasticky, I don't like that. The second one I would like to talk to you guys about is uh, these two blues right here. These are in the medium range of inexpensive to expensive. And yeah, they upheld, but I still didn't like the shininess that this blue one gave off. And this matte was perfect. To a more supreme actual vinyl, which is this gray grizzly right here. This was made with Caesar, I believe. And as you see, it's got like a little matte finish to it. Um, the feel is really nice. And to the big grizzly itself. This was that cheap black shiny vinyl you could get like 100 yards for $12. <laughs> and the back was actually Caesar Easy Weed. And I pressed over it. So it was a learning curve for me. I actually did too many layers on this. And the layers behind actually came through on the sweatshirt. 13 minutes. Alright. I hope this behind the lens is entertaining to y'all. I haven't looked at it over there. I don't know what y'all commented. But what up squad? Um, It's actually... Uh, what time is it? 7.55. Yeah, 7.55 on a Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Wednesday. On a Wednesday night, <laughs> yeah, see? I be going so hard sometimes, y'all. Hey, days turn into nights, nights turn into days. But it's all out of growing and trying to be the best version of myself I can be for my children. So uh -huh. let's end this real quick. Three, two, one. Hey, yo, that's dope, ain't it? That's the G Fit Grip with me. Uh, T Gang in the building, what up? No, I haven't had this for a year, and you guys were there when I made this shirt or something similar to it. But I just wanted to talk about this and the difference between this and the other shirts that I showed in the previous uh, clips. The feel of this is almost no feel. If you ever had a sublimation shirt, and you rub your hands in between the two layers, you don't feel anything. That's almost the feeling that you get from this. It's very nice, it's breathable, it moves with the shirt. I haven't had much issues with cracking, but I haven't had it for a whole year either. So I can't make an honest decision or determination or what I could say a comparison until this time next year. But right now this is a front runner for me and it's from Econo Transfers, the white. The go is also from Econo Transfers. And it's just like the feel. I can't I can't describe it on lens, but there's a difference between the feels and the vinyls, from the cheapest to the most expensive. And it's either somewhere between soft or you can almost not feel it at all, like it's part of the actual fabric. And then there's that plastic feel, like I got a big block of plastic on my chest. And I can't breathe and my chest is suffocating. I need to take the shirt off and I'm sweating to death. It's hot and it's sticking to me and all of that. So this I stopped it. Good. Let me end this, this 15 video. Minutes. That the 
outro has to be very quick because it's already at 15 minutes. Okay. I'll figure it out. I hope I got enough time. I don't know if they up my time or not. Has any of y'all have time limits or time caps? If you do YouTube videos, all my YouTube people, my collaborators, please let me know. Hold on one second. This is my wife. My bad, people. As we come into an end, I just wanted to get this last little bit on camera so y'all can see how I end, how I freestyle process. I knew I was going to be doing a wash test, comparison test. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Nothing was written down. So, hey, if y'all like the content, go to Mike T's and subscribe, like, and comment. And obviously, you and squad, because you're seeing this right now, this is a live for the squad. Once again, shout out to the squad. What up? I appreciate y'all being here with me. Three, two, one. So this has been a Mike T's wash test review. Over the last year, the garments that I've pressed. Uh, if you would like to see more content like this, drop something in the comment section. Uh, I have nothing else to say, y'all. Until the next one, though, I'm out. All right, y'all. I see some folks came in, some went on out. Uh, this is the end to my live behind the scenes. I will be having this posted to my YouTube in case you missed it. But did y'all see that? Then I messed around and matched them with the pants. Oh my gosh. Then if you want to be extra, just go ahead and get the Grizzly by Nature shirt. So there you go, a whole little set. Just need the socks to match. Then all right, until next time, y'all. Peace.